Welcome to Black Onyx. We're chatting to the Anbro Capital Investments team. Thanks, Andrew. I started off many, many years ago at, as a private client fund manager at Standard Bank. Um, really began just before the emerging markets crisis in 1998. That gave me a bit of a baptism of fire into the markets, but um, you know, it's been a great adventure since then. Moved to Investec, um, did a stint there, did a, a stint at Nedbank CRB, um, before we decided to start Anbro in 2014. And Justin, how did you get into investments? My background is really very similar to Craig's. I um, spent a lot of time in banking, and particularly investment banking. You know, I did the journey from Investec across Standard and uh, Neds, and uh, was involved in the team that uh, launched very successful ETFs on the JSC, namely the equally weighted and green ETF while at Nedbank. And I served as a director on that uh, Ned Group Beta Solutions. And I've always had a passion for making sure clients receive the right kind of investment and they have an understanding behind what they're actually investing in. You know, there's a lot of uh, information out there and clients tend to get lost in detail or they get the incorrect advice. So Craig and I felt there was a niche and that's how I got to start Ambro in 2014 with Craig. And Jenna, tell us about your role at Ambro. Thanks, Andrew. My journey began 19 years ago in retail, where my focus was sales and customer service. From there, I worked my way up into a management position for the SJA Law Group in retail. And this is where my love for customer service was born. I was then fortunate enough to join Ambro Capital Investments seven years ago as Head of Client Relations. Good customer service means the obvious, going above and beyond, building the relationships with our clients, which is one of the highlights, but it also means us at Ambro sitting down, looking at our systems, and ensuring that our processes and onboarding flow smoothly, are easy to use, and that the overall experience is a seamless one. So um, always interested in investing, um, way back when my mom actually worked at Alan Gray, so I was interested from uh, quite a young age. Uh, went to UCT, studied business science, did the postgrad accounts, and uh, decided very much that I didn't want to be an auditor. So I was fortunate enough to get into uh, what was then called a top program, training outside public practice. Um, and that was around 2008 um, with the big crash and everything, but I was still very kind of uh, interested in the whole space, interested in financial engineering and derivatives and all those kind of wild and crazy investment uh, uh, vehicles and, and options. And um, yeah, so I was fortunate enough to get in there and I, from day one, was very, very passionate about trying to get onto the trading floor, trying to understand, you know, how, um, you know, all these instruments work and how you know equities and bonds and derivatives and you know banks manage their liquidity and all those kinds of uh, uh, interesting subjects so about halfway through i managed to get on the trading floor and um, that's where i met uh, justin and craig uh, 